continue our prep football previews tonight with a look at the Eagle Mustangs. The circumstances surrounding the Eagle High football team last year tested the program in ways that were unplanned and honestly unfair. It was pretty crazy. Injuries to key players casted a shadow of doubt. I think we had a chip on our shoulder because of that. And at times, it almost seemed like the Mustangs had more talent stocked in the stables on the sidelines than on the field itself. We were kind of mad that we weren't ranked as high as, Lee as we thought we should be, but we knew that because we were a brotherhood that we would band together. Chaos eventually revealed character. The kids rallied behind uh, each other. Our team was so tightly knit together last year that we could overcome anything. And instead of finding excuses, they fought for wins, enough to make it all the way to the 5A state semifinals. Not a lot of people were banking on us to even make it that far, but we proved them all wrong. Leaning on those lessons. We definitely have more to prove. We're coming for it this year. Eagle is finally healthy, and this pony show is impressive. After missing all of last season, Jake Longston will make his long-awaited return at quarterback. Jake's definitely a great quarterback. He's all around. He could run, he could throw, he could do pretty much anything you need him to. He'll benefit from a backfield that includes seniors Roy Hole and Deegan Martino, along with one of the most dynamic wide receivers out west, Ian Duarte. His acceleration from absolutely a static position to full speed is something I've never seen in a high school athlete. Teams close on him at bad angles because of that. On the defensive side of the ball, Eagle will boast one of the best units in the 5A SIC. There's so many good athletes on our defensive side of the ball. Defensive end Carter Davis and his 4.35 GPA will set the tone. Carter Davis is a very good player. He's big physical, and I don't think there's going to be anybody that's going to block him this year. But he won't be alone because on the opposite side of the line, sophomore Seth Brock appears to be a spitting image. So Seth Brock, he's a, a great younger. He's just a beast. He just turned 16, about my size, relentless motor. He'll be a monster this year. Behind those two is linebacker Mason Mitchell, who has healed up from a hip injury that kept him out all of last season. The way he came back from this injury, he came back stronger than he was before. You, do, you just don't see it a whole bunch, but uh, he's gonna have a great year. Maybe the coolest thing about this herd is their unmistakable bond. For years, they have experienced the highs and lows of this game together. Yeah, we all grew up playing flag and then Optimus. I think that bond means a ton going way back. We bled together, we, we probably cried together. We've been through it before, so we know that we can do it again. And because of it, they believe that anything is attainable. I think it's the best part of high school, coming out on a Friday night, coming and doing something with your brothers, achieving something, winning the state championship.